We're here at the Sheldon for our spring exhibits that will transport you around the world at various locations and some that don't even exist. When you first enter the galleries, you will encounter studies in architecture, works by Wallace Herndon Smith and Paul Young. This exhibition is in honor of Wallace Herndon Smith and his admiration for architecture. Before his focus on painting, Smith studied architecture at Princeton University and Washington University in St. Louis. The work on display spans years of Smith's interest in architecture. Also featured with Smith is Paul Young, a local contemporary sculptor. Young has spent years exploring St. Louis and the region's back roads, looking for old abandoned buildings to reproduce in miniature. Working from photos, Young creates scaled models with hyper-realistic details of exterior and interior details. Each artist renders everyday structures as monuments to human activity and purpose. Pairing them together opens different avenues to examining contrast in such as beauty and decay in the past and the present, and offers deep looks inside living spaces as well as studies of facades. The next exhibit you will come to is Jump, Twist, or Dive by Evan and Stacy. This body of work transforms the gallery into a play area. Presented are unusable playground objects that are familiar to us all. The viewer brings their own memories with a combination of fun and fear. And in the gallery is a bench where you can sit and reflect on your own experiences as a child. And in this section of the gallery is local painter Brian DePauli who questions American society's live-to-work mentality is influenced by economist John Maynard Keynes' essay that envisions by 2030, the standard of living will be higher with a work week of 15 hours and the rest of the time people devote to leisure and culture. Brian's work revolves around the idea that Keynes' prediction has come true. And when you come into this section of the gallery, you may think you're looking at large-scale photographs, but there are oils on the panel that are hyper-realistic in style. While we're showing these three exhibits, we're also exhibiting two MFA students, one of which is Benjamin Kaida. Kaida's artwork addresses the loss of his Japanese heritage through his family's experiences in the United States. He connects his lost Japanese identity by pairing the remnants of his family's past with more dominant American realities, like the Japanese-American internment camps during World War II. After March 29th, we will also feature Nacha Wang Chan Law and her work that explores immigrants and how they're treated based on their passports. We hope you can make it to the Sheldon to experience the exhibits and explore memory and place. The exhibits run through May 11th.